Okay, Robin, we're going to talk about what you did well as is, right? Okay. What you did a good job of is you, you placed the club behind the ball, so it's pretty levelly grounded, the club head, and it's at a 90 degree angle, the club face, so it's pointing forward or square to your target, right? right. Uh, grip wasn't bad, you had your left hand on, you covered the thumb of your top hand with your bottom hand, so both hands are working together. Um, posture, pretty good spine angle, you almost want to tilt a little more forward from your hips, okay. like I've done to the right here, okay. and then a little knee flex, so you're more in the balls of your feet, more athletic position-wise, okay. and you'll find you probably have to step a little further away from the ball to allow your arms to hang down naturally below your shoulders, right? If your arms are kind of crunched into your body, usually a sign you can step back and get better balance, right? Okay. Just like in a lot of sports, balls of your feet is like a tennis player waiting for a serve, let's say in basketball, playing D and being able to move and shuffle right. and keep your angles and not be have someone blow by you, right? So right. those stable positions. Um, the big thing was getting you to soften your right arm, which you're already doing because it's one of the swings we did a little later, yeah. obviously, and that gets your shoulders to be more parallel to right. the target. Okay, we're going to watch your club now as it moves away from the ball. You can see the club goes back in a pretty good takeaway path. And we want that club to go more vertical, the shaft, compared to around your waist. So you're turning your shoulders back at already a much better job. See the club go back? That's and the only thing was, this is one of the swings where you still had your feet too active. Yeah. Look how quiet my lower body is, right? Yeah, you are. So if you keep your feet on the ground, as you did a little bit later for me, it's going to be even easier, right? Okay. So it's just a shoulders turn, which you did, feet stay quiet. Because on this swing, you got to replant your left heel, bring the club back down, and try to turn through with your legs and hips and finish. So you did all that, but that's a little tougher than you want. Okay. So at the end of the day, you want to have less moving parts to your swing okay. and more of a chain reactional turn and pivot with your core muscles. Okay? Through good basics. All right, so let's... Uh,